All right. This is a bad idea. What's up, people? Pacebreaker here, and welcome back to Warframe Wind Down. And it is summer. And yet I have my fan off because mic quality. Yeah. See, I'm of the mindset of sorry, you have to deal with it. Otherwise, I'm either going to sweat so much that I can't see shit, or I'm going to pass out from the goddamn heat down here in Texas. And then the stream is just going to be one of those long ones uh, where it doesn't end because my ass is out. I mean, I am getting a bit of a draft from the hall now, thanks to us installing another AC last night, but... Huh. Still ain't got one in here. Because circumstances. Anyway. Now. God. I hate this. Plague Star is back. They have not done anything fucking different with it. It's the same damn shit. I'm not interested in running the same shit over and over again. Despite the fact that that's pretty much what Warframe is. At least they put variation into the main game itself. This, this is not that varied. This is why I actually enjoyed uh, the other thing. Um, why I enjoyed the Ghoul Purge. It gave you two different missions that you could do. Yeah, and they even threw some different stuff in there. The least they could do is change the rewards uh, to like a various focus lens. As opposed to one particular one. This is how I walked away with a shit ton of one type. And it's not even the one I use. I'm trying to remember which one it even is. What is it? The um. Ah oh, hell. My mind is blanking. Ah oh, shit. Which lens is it? it ain't Zenric. It ain't Madurai. It ain't an... Ah, shit. What is that? You know what? We can just check. Because this is my main account. I also have a PC account. And I've been... I wouldn't... I wouldn't say taking the slow path. No, I, I breezed through some shit over there, too. Because, well, I timed it right. Got in just as they were doing some stuff. And we were building up. And it was fantastic. Uh, it was Naraman. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, and then... And this is like after Focus 2 fucking point oh or 2.5 or whatever. So Naraman is shit. Yeah, but Melee... Yeah, I know. They're still in the process of upgrading the Melee... Uh, the Melee system. But Focus also needs a rework. Because really... Y'all kept some of the same skills from before, and they're not very effective. They're not fun. They don't fit into the flow of things. They don't work. I can actually offer legitimate criticism without being uh, without being a dick about it and trying to hurt somebody's feelings. Also, dickhead is here. I mean, now I will actually hurt some feelings about this motherfucker, but, you know, that's me. So, let's hide stuff. And this is all that remains. <sighs> I already had a Prisma Shade. The only thing that was worth it off of him was the Prisma Burst Rifle. Um, yeah. Had, uh, well, Burst Laser, whatever. Um, yeah, because... It is actually a nice upgrade to that. Also, it has no reload time. It's the perfect sentinel weapon. Well, it's the perfect MOA weapon. And style of the purest and sedaris. Huh. 
I really should try getting these. I don't know. I haven't actually been putting in the work lately. I've been bored out of my fucking skull with this game. Like, there's nothing to do. And then they finally give it to us, and I'm already burnt out on, of it on PC. Because, you know, you have to get your hexing on, and then you got to do your runs against the Rapala list in order to get Wisp. I've got Wisp. I've got the new Vandals. Because once you've done the three hostile mergers uh, missions, then the endurance round opens. So at 1,000, you get the Spectra Vandal, the, uh, the small uh, kind of sort of prototype to the mining laser that we had before. It's also a beam weapon. And then you get the Glaxion Vandal for 4,000. That's freaking dope. So there's still nine days left to do it i want to do it as soon as possible and then also which i didn't point out during my last stream is nightwave is back this is called intermission they went and utilized some changes and they put it forward so nightwave <sighs> nightwave now has an in, an intermediary point there's a, uh, a rest period. There is no prestige track for this. This is all stuff in here for you to go get. And, well, this, this Eidolon Ephemera, that's something that is not limited only to Nightwave. You can get it another way. So, um, I believe they said there's... I can't remember how many weeks there is for this. Um... I think they said, what was it, five weeks? I might be wrong. I don't remember. I had to pull it up again. But also, they've already changed how uh, the affinity gains are for this. You know, and yeah. And they've also changed up some of the missions, you know, uh, adjusted some things. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go do all this shit. Because, yeah. I want to already get up here. This is kind of not going to work. Sort of. Can. I need Wisp. And I need my Vandals. Although technically the Vandals will cover it. I still have my Prisma Grenlock. So I could do something with that. I've got things that I can form a. Um, yeah. Now hell if anything I could use this on my other account. So I have to pull double duty. As well as play Final Fantasy XIV. <sighs> Yay. So yeah. Um, if you guys want to see me play fourteen, I'm willing to actually uh, get on there and play it. You know, show you guys what I'm up to. Still don't have a free company. I'm in the process of uh, getting geared up. Uh, and then we'll get into it. Alright, let's see, where would be Necros? And I'm actually going to bring my other gun. Huh. Okay. Let's get to work. I don't know, some of this is just boring. Like, shit, you'll get tired of this stuff eventually. Interesting that this node is visible here, but on PC it wasn't. Alright, so let's do a disruption. That is the title of this stream, Disruption and Nightwave. So, yeah, that's all we're doing this, uh, this session. So hopefully I can actually bang out most of my Nightwave stuff so I can move on so once you get to that uh, that Eidolon ephemera that's it like there is no prestige track for that this is a thing to hold you over for the uh, until the next story is released which should be by I think after Tenokan maybe I don't know I'm eager to see how things go this time around because 
you know, like last year stuff got put off and there was a major content drought because they were working on, on like the Tenocon display, you know, like all that. Yeah. It's a neat idea, but took up way too much time. Because stuff like that takes work, but that was just for the demo. In addition to, you know, the skeleton for the thing, but it wasn't the final, final version that we were running with. Hopefully my audio is good. I don't, it's hard to say. I've basically figured out what it is. Like I was saying before, it's not my mic itself. It's the thing that's connected to the mic. Oh, so your computer or your PlayStation? No, it's not the computer or the PlayStation. It's okay. If you're using a professional studio microphone, you have to plug it into something, a mixer or, you know, or, um, or like a little junction box or whatever that you can then turn the input up. You can turn your headphone volume up and down, stuff like that. Like, uh, uh, like a Scarlet, an inbox, uh, you know, stuff like that. And that's what I've got. I've got a fucking inbox, and it is a bogus inbox. Reason why is because, well, I tried, uh, I'm going to turn this down because I don't need to hear all that. So, yeah, basically, my headphone jack on this thing is broke to fuck. It's not unusable. Thing is, if you try and plug in all the way, it will not plug. It will not, You will not receive any audio. You won't hear anything. If you plug, uh, if you plug it in halfway, you will hear something. That told me right there and then that something was wrong. And what I should have did was I should have took that bitch up there to Guitar Center and had them give me a replacement. That's what I should have did. I didn't. Wait, did they just get meta? So we're already on the cyan tower. Nice. We got ourselves Nidus putting up the, the spawning grounds for us. The other answer would be Wisp. Because Wisp has this ability to throw down reservoirs. It's like, oh, hey, you know, we made this new mode, and then we also made this new Warframe, and this new Warframe would definitely be helpful for this mode. It's kind of like Nidus being helpful for Salvage. Which is funny, because that's how you get him. You don't get Wisp from this, thank God. It would have been painful. I'm, I appreciate them finally adding the flight alarm, though. I just hate the AI for the damn thing. Yeah, so, uh, I am not making excuses. It's the hardware. It's actually the goddamn hardware. Because apparently there's a fault in the damn thing. There's several faults because, yeah, I'm rocking a condenser microphone. Those things are sensitive. This is why you can probably still hear a right now. That's the air conditioner in the other room. It can pick that up. So that means I have to speak way fucking louder or turn the volume up, my turn the gain up, so the, you know, so it can pick up the signal higher. I'm not entirely sure what all they're trying to do. I'm trying to stick close to the tower and desecrate, but they're killing shit way the hell away from the tower. I've got like a, what, 30 meter desecrate? Oh, we have an equinox that partially explains it. The other partial explanation is Mesa. 
good setup. It's just shit. It's just like overdoing it. So, uh, what is this? Navy? Blue. Yeah. Still blue. Ow. Um, yeah, so going back, I keep getting distracted by the match. <laughs> so going back to this thing again. Yeah, so then if I try and turn the volume up, this sucker is going to jump. It's not going to go in order one, two, three, four, all the way up to 10. No, no. This sucker jumps from like three to six. Or, you know, if anything, more from four to nine or something. And then it gets way too, way too high. I haven't even turned the damn thing all the way up. In fact, you shouldn't have to turn the thing way the hell up. Like the way this works, it's supposed to be. I'm not sure how that counts as complete. Yeah, that that's the thing that throws me off about this mission type. It's like, wait, what? Okay, Alad always gets creepy once he gets an idea, once he gets ambitious. Okay, so if my memory is correct, the number of runs to do for this is, what was it? Was it four or eight? I can't remember. It's been a minute since we actually did it on PC. That knocked all this shit out first week. Cause it wasn't that hard and everybody was doing it and now we got plague star going on at the same time on all platforms and it's like so the people who were waiting on like the uh the plague arcanes and the the plague saw parts or maybe you know just the uh the wisp and the um the cs wisp and the uh the whatchamacallits motherfucker and the um and the gems and fish bits yeah but since then they've made it somewhat easier in order to get uh fish parts and um out what the hell what somebody have a damn shockwave gun now i can only imagine who the hell he's partnered with now Okay. If my marriage is correct, yeah, it's eight. But you have to have successful uh, defenses as opposed to letting shit get blown up. I mean, yeah, if you know what you're doing and y'all can easily divide up your forces, then yeah, you can do it. You can actually split and divide and conquer like that, but otherwise, no. Edit that text. I don't know. If, okay, that's probably just somebody dropping something. Although it is pretty windy. Um, it's probably going to storm. So probably not the best idea to try and stream right now. I don't care. We're going to try. Now come on. Where's the next flunky to drop this thing? Drop a key. <laughs> Love kit guns. I can't wait for the primaries. 
No doubt they'll probably use their own set of arcanes. There's the Reiki. Good on you. Alright, Mesa, let's go. No, it's the white one that's up now. Yeah, either rapid fire or continuous in order to burn that down. That's why I gotta have like phases to it, like, like, like it should diminish at, uh, along with its health. And it does. It's just not exactly at a set rate. That's why I mean, like, if it has set rate for it. Once again, there's way too much shit going on on screen for me to really keep up with things. We're we doing cyan now. Yeah, so I can desecrate that far away. So I don't have to run all the way up. Well, kind of, because the damn vacuum doesn't pick up from that far. And if I brought the cat, then I could have actually doubled this. And then if I had, uh, blah, blah. And then if I had a resource booster, I could triple that. Thank you for your generous See, there we go. So now we've hit the, uh, now we've hit the mark for the spectra. And we could try to stay and make it for the other one. Which means that we have to essentially do that same run three more times. And if my mirror is correct, this is all in one run. I feel like a lot of stuff just wasn't... It had a great concept. You know... Uh, kind of wonky design not so great execution it's an okay execution for some of the things because I mean I suppose this is supposed to be a challenge and it's supposed to get stronger it's supposed to become more difficult the further along you go because you know you start on Jupiter they're already slightly stronger yeah and so by then they're like mid tier going on uh, upper tier and you fight them and you know they start getting stronger and stronger and stronger in addition to the other detrimental effects that can be placed on you because of the conduits mm-mm Since some of y'all are also part sentient, that should make you more likely to get your ass destroyed. Unless they somehow manage to excise that weakness, which is dangerous. Don't do that. Because, yeah, if the sentients are able to then take their own back into the fold, then they can do that and then, you know, assimilate that knowledge. You know, assimilate that skill and use it against us because you know their whole thing was being able to adapt and that's why they were able to overtake the Oricon so easily because yeah like all their energy weapons they could adapt to so the corpus should also be easily dealt with I can't get in there Excuse me. I have no mute switch. I have to go into the party and then mute my mic. Uh, I 
That sucks. I was so happy, so excited. I got me a studio mic. I don't have to use that rock band mic anymore. I don't have to use a wonky USB headset. I can I can do this. I can actually have quality audio now. Yeah. I'm not sure if I need a preamp or probably. Um, yeah, not sure if I need a preamp or if I need to just uh, get a whole other audio interface. And I'm thinking I need a whole other audio interface. I can probably get a preamp later and that'll do something. Of course they do. They're abominations. Let's go on the no doubt this is sacrilege or, well, just outright immoral uh, for both sides. Especially the sentience. Which also says something, if they, like I was saying, if they can reintegrate their people, well, you know, they can reintegrate their, uh, their kind back into the fold. Because it seems they have a hive mind of sorts. One that's it's a better collective than the infested. So, in that regard, oh. yeah. So then, either they can feel this, or possibly they are, uh, you know, they could perhaps maybe reclaim their uh reclaim their own maybe not then get the the ability to uh like um uh, lose their uh their uh their void weakness because i'm pretty sure they haven't developed that not yet uh pretty sure allied hasn't developed any of that just yet but um <clears throat> but just being able to reclaim the uh the amalgams and now use them as part of their army instead of it being the corpus my god that would be horrifying So yeah, it's both uh, beneficial and detrimental effects. That's pretty cool. And if we hadn't lost those towers from before, it's going to be way better. He's open. Get him. Yeah, I'm usually playing support. I'm usually the one trying to, like, give buffs and all the other really necessary shit. Because, you know, that's what you do. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got buffs. Somebody's got to heal. So I did. That's why I started messing with healers in 14. Cause yeah, I could tank, but come shadow. Ah, excuse me, damn it. Uh, yeah, apparently I got sick, so yeah, I'm not feeling too awesome. God damn it. Well, we got more hexing on than we did uh, before. Uh, but uh, yeah, so yeah, there's going to be more tanks come shadow bringers, but. Yeah, so if anything I need to become uh I need to become more of a healer. And I'm I just hit fifty on my white mage last night or well this morning. Stay up to like five something, almost six. Uh grind out the last few levels. Uh, so it 
kind of helped me to get a grasp on the on the role but not quite because when you're doing like low level stuff and you don't have like full uh full access or at least most of your access yeah it gets hard to really focus and put your skill together you know and learn this is what you gotta do you gotta do this then you have to do this other thing then you have to do this other bit here We're staying on beam, but we're switching it up. Ignis. Now this is probably not the best answer, but yeah. I don't know how many of these things I've scanned and how many more I need to scan. Why are you scanning them? Completion sake. Not just having them, uh, you know, but also to then be able to experiment on them in the simulacrum. Because that's what you do. This is pretty damn messed up. You, know, you thought the infested transformations were terrifying. But look at this. Somehow they made this work. So, uh... Since they're flesh, yeah, uh, okay, so viral and magnetic, okay, now what is up with this one, is this, is this like a MOA, I mean not a MOA, um, is this, uh, is this an osprey merged with a, okay, okay, I got lost by capturing them and birthing neurocarnivorous, Directly into the brain stems that by supercharging the fighting person. This is like the uh, the sentient uh, APC that we're talking about, except instead of uh, instead of containing, except that was a whole lot bigger. So they copied that same concept. So instead, this one swoops them up and then it it like converts them. Oh, that's just fucked up. So you take this out ASAP. It's like this. This is half sentient, half MOA. It's very obvious. I hate to fight the unit that this actually is, though. Kind of, but not really. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And then there's this one. Okay, this one looks pretty cool. I like this. All right, this is the uh, the one that has the uh, the eye with the big ass beam weapon. Yeah. Fortunately, you don't have to do disruption in order to fight those. They'll show up in some of the other missions as well. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully with the team that actually isn't trying to just uh, scatter and, I guess, compete for kills. I don't know. I mean, for this, I don't need a Necros, but I'm also trying to kill two birds with one stone. So I could have brought anything. I could have brought anything else in order to ensure that we could tear it up. Like Nova. Like I could have brought a neutral Nova just to make it uh, less of a pain. I really should have done that. That would have been a lot more... Uh, a lot more manageable. I don't know. I I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Or mag. So let's see. We got ourselves a nidus, a mag, and fourth spot is about to get filled. 
I'm on fire and I'm irradiated. I'm still on fire. And our fourth is a Nova. Hooray! I'm thinking being sick has probably triggered my damn superpower again. I can read uh, I can read wavelengths. <laughs> I can actually synchronize with them. So then TV, radio, you know, any of that. It's like being psychic. I'm not bullshitting you. That actually does happen way more often than I would like. I wouldn't necessarily call that a damn superpower, but you know, I did. I don't know. Might be something up with uh, with my brain chemistry. Who knows? I don't know. All right. Wait, what now? No, you don't. Yeah, they got meta. They got meta on it. Don't do that. It's not clever by this point because everybody's done it. <laughs> At that point, people are tired of it. It's like, oh, okay, well, they, you know, they, they leaned on the fourth wall. Or they broke the fourth wall. Yeah, we've seen everybody else do it. That's why the arcane is awesome. I mean, if you're the support type, but then it ends up being redundant if you're already running uh, visor in anyway. And yeah, I'm doing this the lazy way, so I don't actually have to aim. Now, I could easily go into an exterminate mission and just kill a whole bunch of these kinds of enemies by myself then. left the Nova I mean I guess having a mag in here could be disruptive I don't know if you could take down the damn magnetizers without an augment that would be fine but where the hell am I going And since we've already done the uh, the first conduit, that's it. Scans indicate these conduits are connected to a massive stockpile of resources. Just how long is the operator planning to break for? See how strong you are when you have to deal with void energy, bitch.
Okay. Trying to get a handle on them. I forgot to check out the uh, the Empyrean trailer that they had for E3. Fuck. I don't know, man. I missed quite a bit of shit because I was on 14. Like, man, I hit that wall and I was like, ugh. What am I talking about? I've been on the uh, the free trial for quite some time. Then I hit like the wall for like level 35 and I switched over to a healer. Uh, I think I've got like my archer to level 25 because I also wanted to be a bard. Yeah, it's like, uh, okay. And, you know, so yeah, it, and then there's like this thing going on with like these Moogle tombstones and like, so like you can only get them from select dungeons and there was shit that I wanted but I couldn't have because I didn't have enough. And, so I jumped the gun instead of waiting until like the last week of of uh yeah instead of waiting the last week of June or whatever you know uh to pre-order shower bringers and get my shit uh you know and do it at like a decent time nah I, I just fucking jumped the gun and picked up shit right there and then so like yeah eh I mean, it worked. I mean, I'm still able to play the game and all that for now. I need to buy a time card or two. they're like super fucking tanky and then you can't do anything like by the time you do manage to take them out it's like winding down The stupid fucking verticality of the whole goddamn thing. It's just. <sighs> what the fuck was that? Okay, I've never heard that night wave line. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes this shit finishes before the countdown. Life steal weapons, nice. Fuck! When that motherfucker comes in, you can hear it. So you focus that you focus down that target. Apparently we see that's confusing as shit. It's like what? And then that stupid friggin' tagline to go with it. Think you know what you're doing? I was like, no, 
No, and apparently you don't either, because what the hell even is this? I've heard the basic breakdown of what this is supposed to be, but when the actual mechanics take place, this shit doesn't work. It's, it's not what you're describing it as. Now, if this is something that's like overall, you know, like, uh, like a kind of combined score as opposed to just like one run, I'm kind of going to be pissed. Uh, like I said, a lot of people, like, shit. Uh, now, a lot of people, I'm sure, have already been burnt out and have left and shit. And some people have already left anyway, but haven't come back. It's like, what's going on with my clan? And then some of them have, like, these lame excuses, like, well, I don't know where to start. Like, start at the fucking beginning. Like, we ain't doing shit. We'll be there to help out if you need it. Yeah, that's like too grindy, and I'm like, I'm like, now you're just sitting up making excuses. The sooner you get back, at, the sooner you get back at it, the faster you can get back up. The longer you put it off, the longer it's going to take to actually make progress. Okay, hungry. Huh. I should do something about that. Okay, uh, white key. No, cyan tower is up. What? Okay, the transmission is like, what the fuck? I don't even think they headed to extraction, did they? Yeah, this is kind of fucking stupid. Like, Okay, see, now that one went through. Yeah, this shit doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, fuck a timer. None of this shit makes any damn sense. I'm bailing. It's bad enough that we lost the goddamn Nova, because this could have worked. But then, nope. They bailed, and all this other shit happened, and yeah, no. No, no. Then the fucking Nidus leaves. I have no clue what the mag is doing. <sighs> and individual extraction is a thing now, so, yeah. Excuse me. Uh, there's a fly in here. Like I was saying, that is a method for getting hexing on. 
but you have to have at least a semi-coordinated team in order to make it work. Wait, how much other thermia do I have? 49. Fuck, I'm gonna have to go back out there and do more fractures when they pop up again. So, let's see, 316. I said I needed 2050 in order to build everything. So I'm not even close to that. Like, shit. Taking the cat. Also, the cat can halt her own. So, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I think somebody did propose it. <clears throat> I remember someone was mentioning it. I don't know if it was on the forums, if it was on Reddit, but to be able to mod your pet's body for like your main traits and then mod their claws, you know, uh, as their weapon. So then you can put in stuff like maul, bite, uh, the elemental mods like frost jaw, shock collar, uh, you know, yeah. So that then you can have that separate and then still be able to put mods in here. So then you can do like your hunter mods, you can do your tech mods, you know, uh, you know, stuff like that. Because otherwise it just feels awkward. Don't necessarily need the other one. Then there's that. It's like if you got one, you can't have the other. Mother. I was wondering about that. If I actually have to put a, another format in her, and I don't know. Possibly. Because I was like, huh. I wonder if I max all of those stupid link mods out. How much would that cost? And how much could I cut that down by? And would I have space for anything else? Yeah, I can, but it's going to suck. And it was a bad idea. I tried, it worked, but it kind of sucked. Cause as you can see, I got maxed out link health here. Uh, link armor is 14. It's like, yeah, it became very difficult to try and put mods in after that. And I'm not going to have all three of those on at any given time. I'm doing it like I do my Warframes because, well, if you're running a Warframe that has no armor and you're running Link armor, look at that. Necros ain't got no damn armor. So what's the point? Then why not Link shields? Could, but I don't run shields on my Necros. So something like that. Chance, I think, is actually my... Yep, that's the build. That's the one that ensures that we get stuff. And then we also have pack leader as well, so that then I can bam, melee, and she'll heal. Uh, and then she can kill stuff, and that'll heal me. So, yeah, mutually uh, beneficial setup here. So, you're still taking Necros? I do not know. Probably not. I could probably actually take uh, Nyx and tear some shit up. Because girlfriend kicks ass. Like, for real, man, I love my Nyx. Hello, Mr. Fly. Get the hell out of here. So, people were talking about, ah, oh, Nick sucks and this, that, and the other. After the changes that they made to her, all you need is 30% power strength added on in order for her to be able to completely strip armor, strip shields, or slow down infested with her second ability. So then, I created a bullshit build. Yeah, it means I had to do some stuff. And she only has one format in her, by the way. So yeah, it meant I had to do some stuff. But, 
for what it's worth, if you're messing with any other any other Warframe, you already have this stuff lined up. So it's not that big of a deal. Like you already have probably a maxed out transient fortitude, a max prime continuity, max prime flow, probably a max prime vigor. You know, so then you can slot that stuff in and it's fine. So this is the build that I'm actually talking about. I call it chaos control. So I throw down chaos normally. I don't like the augment. I, I mean, it has its use, I'm sure, but uh, but um yeah. But this pacifying bolts. See, this says enemies will be confused for ten seconds. That is kind of misleading writing. Some people thought that that meant oh well it'll be like a radiation proc or something, right? It's like no. What it means is the enemy will be stunned for 10 seconds once you hit them with the bolts. And then of course the assimilate augment, so that's my panic button. So that I can sit in my bubble and just start whipping things at everybody. And like I said, I only need the 30. So then I get a full debuff. Like they took this into account. Because if you have flat, then look how much it does. The flat amount is 80%. Then the, like, it caps out. Like, there's no, be, there's no going beyond 100%. So then you can do, like, yeah, man. So then, of course, also, if I wanted to mind control, then I could probably slip in and augment instead of, like, yeah. Because Psycho Boost is the one that I use for that. And I don't know why I'm doing, like, a build breakdown now. Like, that's not the video that we're doing. But, yeah, like, this is what I'm doing. So, for the sake of actually being able to CC and tear shit up, that's what I'm bringing. And yeah, Barrow's here. He'll leave tomorrow morning. I don't give a shit. He hasn't really brought anything new. He did on PC, but it's a glyph. <clears throat> I mean, uh, or a sigil or what? Well, no, it's a glyph. Um, yeah, I don't give a shit. Like I, it was eighty. It was eighty ducats. I've got it. You know, but I haven't been playing the game all that often. I've been burnt out. And I, I just don't really feel like trying to grind fissures and shit. Like, hell, I still need to get shit for Loki and Vault while they're out of the vault. So I can at least finish the sets and maybe sell them or whatever. Haven't done it. I don't really feel like doing it. I don't feel like being bothered. I said, the, uh, especially when you set up and try to play every damn day. Yeah, like... And then eventually you just get burnt out and you're just doing like bare minimum. You'll log in, get your login, maybe update the message of the day, and that's it. This is going to feel awkward. So let's see, we have a Wisp, an Excalibur, an Excalibur Umbra, and my next. would bring like the little protective bubble mower. I'm a little nervous about this crew. This is key. Okay, so let's get started. And someone died. Two people died. What? You're standing by the conduit. You also have to pay attention to what buffs or debuffs are on the things.
Not sure if should leave or not. Because we've already fucked up on that one. They have the right idea of bringing Umbra. And because we failed that, that means that that debuff is, you know, that detrimental effect is still on it. That I'm only as good a support as the rest of my team is good on damage and such. So, white. Okay. Y'all love how Warframe just throws shit at you and just expects you to figure it out. Yeah, so those effects won't clear until the next set. I can't target that one. Hmm. today. My own Demona. Thank you. Alright, I didn't check the mission score. Well, the event score. Yeah. I don't give a shit. See, this is what I was talking about. Like, my people. No, instead, I had to fucking deal with random motherfuckers that just sit up and do whatever the hell. You might want to get away from the goddamn thing. It's killing us. There's a limit to how far it can actually hurt. Especially if you ain't got no goddamn health. Because you're basically going to get yourself killed. Staying right next to it. Because then we have to waste time picking you up. There's our Wisp. Who could actually put down a health mode. I hate when people fucking do that. Like, no, there's no time. Like, alright, they're gonna run out of revives and this shit's gonna be real dumb. Jesus Christ, you picked white? You picked white energy. That's, that's just messed up, dude. Why the hell would you do that? This is why I try not to use super bright ass energy because, like, really? That's just cruel and unusual. Alright, so what else is available? There's a red key there. Where are they? Uh, they're on the way to Red and Cyan. Okay, uh, tomorrow. So, yep. 
There we go. Healing mode. Yes. So as long as you're standing in that, you are uh, you are going to uh, regen health. Then, if you want to take that with you, you run over this, and you uh, and you take uh, take a, a fruit or crop or whatever, yeah, and you run with it. And now it's hovering around you for a uh, for a decent amount of time. That's how Wisp works. That's her first ability. Her second ability is a uh, is a projection. It's an astral projection that uh, somehow we fucked that one up. Of course we did. Uh, her second skill is an astral projection that she can teleport to, kind of like uh, Neja's uh, blazing chakram, Loki's decoy. It also has high aggro apparently. So you can do something with that. Um, her fourth skill, I feel, really doesn't go with her kit. But, you know, whatever. For some reason, they've been doing that and they continue to do that. Like, throw something in there that does not fit their kit. It's like that whole thing with, uh, with Revenant. You know, and then, uh, I'm fucking leaving. This fucking bullshit. This is on so much I can fucking do. If you're not paying attention, you're just simply trying to kill shit. Like, yeah, no. It's, it's going to be a long, painful fucking route. Yeah, I could have just abandoned the damn thing, but I don't fucking see the point. And Demona's down. That's alright. I'm out of here. Oh, you're not gonna stay? Hell no, I'm not gonna stay. Why the fuck should I stay? Experience has also taught me, like, yeah, like, no. If your health is that low, and your master rank 5, then yeah, you don't have nearly enough for some kind of run like this. Disappointing as shit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. In one run. In one run. Is it? Yeah, in one run. So basically, eight. Eight, yeah. So four rounds will net you the amount that you need. If my memory is correct, I can't even get through two without somebody fucking up. I'm covering as much as I can with AOE and CC. <coughs> I'm covering as much as I can with AOE and CC. If everybody else can't uh, can't like capitalize on that, then what's the point? Like, for it's worth shit, I might as well go on fucking damage too. Except that's the thing. Damage is good, but not necessary. Like, shit, I can bring my chroma if need be. Buff everybody the fuck up. But I'm still going to be on CC because, shit, there's too much of this extra shit. 
Remember, Corp is specialized in area denial. So you need to counter that area of denial with area of denial of your own. In addition to having some fucking massive DPS going in there. So, yeah. I'm going to fucking chroma that shit and I'm going to tear stuff up. Because I'm tired of dealing with it. It's really fucking stupid and unnecessary. Okay, so for Chroma, his emissive energy is the one that determines it. Okay. <clears throat> so, more armor rather than more health. Elemental Ward stack, though. So, if you want to throw down and boost up armor with one Chroma and boost up health with the other, you're good. Gas impact, we're going to swap out. Yeah, this shit is supposed to tear Corpus apart. But, like I said, thanks to those demo lists, they're tanky as hell, so yeah, good luck with it. My default Chroma build should be the. Yep. It's that one. Now, Dragon Guard is actually my. It's my Elemental Ward build. There's a decent amount of duration in there. With a 200% strength setup, so yeah, edge with this, <clears throat> you get about 32 seconds of um, of an increased amount of whatever it is I'm giving you. In the case of cold, you're getting extra armor, and then of course you have a 49% chance of uh, proccing whichever element that I've got on you. So that would be cold. If it was electric, then yeah. Which also wouldn't be that bad because, you know, nice shield increase which allows me to get more, uh, which allows me to get more armor off Vex armor. And then, of course, taking damage to my health gives me more damage. So, yeah. I don't know. It, there's ways of optimizing this and you can get real weird with it. But, like I was saying, that's the last run I'm going to do for this session. The rest of it is going to be Nightwave. So, finishers, sabotages. We already killed 500 enemies. We got unlock relics, extermination mission, mine ore, and uh. Yeah, so I guess we can go do that, but I don't want to do it right now. We might end the stream with it. Alright, so we're gonna go take a Naros. I'm gonna do this shit solo. I don't know, at this point I kinda need some solitude, because just no. We're going to the void. I'm gonna run a void exterminate. Wait. I ain't cheating. It's using what's actually there in the system. Like, that actually works for some damn reason. Another way to do it, unless it's saying I have to do like a level 30 plus mission uh, that way, then yeah. Good kid. Let's go reap some souls. I should have brought my za. On my rack of dark dagger. I made the black talon for a reason. I was like, oh yeah.
Damn, wait, was that two for one? And then unfortunately my cat is also way, way stronger. It was like back in the day uh, when I first started messing with Kubros. Uh, like to see just how strong I can actually make them because they wouldn't stop dying. And I saw that and I'm like, okay, my pet is not dying. Hell, my pet is out killing me. That's pretty damn cool. I like that. Also, I really like the fact that, yeah, I don't have to worry about my pet. Like, for the most part, hell, they're out there killing shit. If I see that their health is dipping down, all I have to do is just melee, like, one person. Maybe two. I don't know. And then there you go. We're good. <sighs> they put, like, lenses and uh, stuff in here. That would be cool. They put like they put some of the corrupted mods in like the challenge rooms here that would be nice but no of course not yeah gas electric is messed up so you're getting hit by two dots one of them's gonna kill you I don't know I'm I'm just a fan of dots damage over time is fun especially when you can stack so much of it and then just sit there and watch the boss die or like watch like a group of enemies die from it it's kind of boring if like then you have to really wait I mean but having that as like a, uh, a bonus along with the regular DPS that's going in yes which kind of upsets me a little bit with the changes that are coming with Shadowbringers because I haven't even really gotten my Arcanist leveled so I'm not a scholar I'm not a summoner although God I, I don't even know man the that's a lot of management then again I already have a lot of management to do anyway as the healer because I need to make sure everybody else is kept up I need to ensure that the tank survives and for the most part the DPS's are okay unless they're super reckless and so far I haven't actually made any Dragoons that have been floor tanking One sec. hello hey I'm okay yeah no. Yeah. Didn't really I didn't really feel like it. Um yeah. Uh prob uh no, uh I probably I, I don't know. I I didn't feel like eating at the time. I'll eat after a while. You don't have to worry about it. It's okay. You don't have to worry about that. It's okay. Yeah, but there's food here. But there's food here. But, but there's food here. We need to fix your phone. There is food here. I'm okay. No. Okay. Love you too. Bye. Okay. Uh, I do need to eat something. 
So I'll probably get something after the stream. Well, not probably. I will get something after the stream. Last thing I need to do is not eat. And I'm trying to fight off whatever the hell this is. I don't know what it was, but I had a fever the other day. And I was like, okay, usually I stay up. You know, I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta call it early. I, I can't do this. Like, shit. Everything was aching. I started slipping up uh, doing a dungeon. Because I was supposed to be healing, and I missed a cue, and uh, somebody died. And, yeah, just, I think everybody wiped on that one. I don't know. I can't remember. We kill everybody? No. There's like another 10 of them. Fortunately, they still spawn enemies. Everyone dies. Ah. Give him Demona. You got a lot of health. That might explain it. Now, Trinity kind of worked that way. Well, it was like a mobile battery platform. Yeah. We were fucking dope. Granted, it's kind of more of a high risk, high reward kind of thing. So instead, she like ups her vulnerability. Uh, she's more likely to die from uh, from enemy fire, which would also mean that she would need a bit of a bump to her survivability in the first place because she's already pretty fragile. But I would totally be down for that. Yeah. So, like, bam. Hook Trinity up with like, I don't know, like 150 armor or something like that. And then she does like this weird kind of, I wouldn't call it a self harm. I don't know, but like, it's weird. So she sacrifices her own health in order to generate health for her team. Like, I can sit down and come up with one for every damn Warframe that we have. Doesn't mean that that's what they're going to do. Like I said, I had a whole thing for Revenant. Like, based on the whole Eidolon theme that they were talking about I'm like oh, I've got it and he could totally be like an Eidolon and it would work and yeah it didn't alright so bam there we go no credit. credits which are same as before so then you can go and buy stuff here and there you go so here we go, we got five pack of nitane, we got reactors, we got catalysts, wait what? Oh hey, there's a thing for number of blueprints on, cool. Okay, so it takes uh, 75 of, yeah, 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 also appreciated, greatly appreciated. Although then this next one is 50, not quite sure how I feel about that. Like the very first one. Well, this is the temporary one. The, well, you know, this is the, the, uh, the in-between. So, yeah. Because honestly, do you really need, like, yeah. Uh, whatever. Okay, so. Speaking of Revenant, who I barely use. Although, if anything, I'd say I barely use Baruch more than I uh, use Revenant. I mean, Revenant's kind of boring. Wukong is too, to a degree, but... Eh, I like him. And then they went and did a little something with him, and I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, so Wukong is getting some changes. I'm going to like that. This mofo with his like way too bright energy. 
Did I create multiple setups for him or is it just the one? It looks like it's just the one. <clears throat> yeah. So. I don't know. I didn't really see a point in trying to put armor on him since the dude has invulnerability in his second skill. Okay, so. Time to go kill shit. I might make this public. Okay. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to remember, was there a low level one? Or like a intermediate? I don't think there was. Yeah, there, there is. Street bog. Okay. So, this is the one with. And I don't have the thing on. I have the loot radar. Oops. Eh, that's alright. I'm familiar with the map enough to kind of know where this stuff should be. So, I can move around and do what I need to. Watch this actually still not be loud enough. My commentator is going to sound like one of the damn mumble rappers or some shit. And it's going to piss me right the hell off because I can't do anything to the audio after the fact. So, I have to find everything. All of them. The good thing is you can hear them. Oh, there's a Nova. Yeah, so he can be a minion Warframe, sure. I would have preferred that he summon like his own little mini Vombalist or Wisp or something. You know? So there you go. Ah man, I wish that I could draw and I wish that I had like a like I don't have a scanner. Like the one that we did have is in storage. Yeah, it's just yeah, so if anything, I just have to take pictures of the stuff that I draw. And I'm basically going to do like stick figures then instead of something very, very elaborate. So people get an idea of what I'm talking about. Because I would have liked him to have done something kind of similar to, um, I guess, like... A uh, health conversion, like or or like um, or like scare uh, scare swarm. So the things, uh, it's it's very similar to mesmer skin in that regard. Like you got four charges of it, or something. So like they uh, consume, they're consumed on. Ability use or taking enough damage. So then it's similar to Wisp in that regard. Like so then each of the Vomvalists have their own unique ability that they're connected to or um something similar. Allowing you to do some really cool stuff with them. So then for his ultimate, he consumes all four of them and probably half his energy bar or something in order to rain down laser death on everyone. Like you, you basically have those God rays that the Gonchalus has. I really would have actually did some crazy bullshit like a, like a hybrid of the three. Like a hybrid of the three Eidolons in of themselves or something like that so then he could have like a rallying cry uh, kind of uh, roar type ability that then grants him invulnerability and damage mitigation uh, for his teammates if not damage mitigation period you know but the damage mitigation only applies to him and not the vomes that float around him they take damage 
And once they take sufficient damage, they're gone. And well, it weakens the mitigation. Getting the numbers down, that's that's gonna be up to the dev team. But at this point, they're not interested in doing something else with Revenant. Hell, they have to redo Wukong and uh, some other Warframe, so I doubt that they'll come back to him anytime soon. Because honestly, I'm not happy with this kid. Sorry, I'm not. I just don't really like what they've done with him. Like, that's interesting. And then when Rebecca was describing it as like vampire frame, I'm like, well, shit, that could be its own fucking Warframe then instead of this. Because this is already its own thing and it could have easily been its own thing. And then it gets like, because he had like this one big ass mass sleep uh, skill. And that sounded really dumb for everybody else because well, we don't need any more CC. What we need is more damage and this and the other. There's already plenty of damage warframes as well. Well, you know, in a game like this where you're constantly moving all over the place, do you really need the CC? When you're doing like long runs and shit, or when there's a whole bunch of enemies that gang up on you in a certain spot, maybe. All right, I actually do need Argon Crystal, so I'm, I shouldn't be complaining in my head. So y'all over there. Extraction is here. I have to go all the way back to the fucking beginning, don't I? What the hell? I was careful enough to look great. Now I gotta go all the way back. Yeah, I don't have the enemy radar, but I'm still gonna look. Cause you can never be too sure. Two. Everybody has done Nightwave at the beginning of the week. That's the thing. Some people only get one day a week to play, or they might only have a couple of hours to play. You know, everybody else talking about, well, you could just go ahead and do it like the week before and all that. Given how pitiful the ducat payouts are on a lot of that shit. 15. 15 is the most common damn number for those. You realize how many 15s you actually have to fucking put down? In order to get his more expensive shit? Yeah, no, that's stupid. No, oh, no, it's fine. No, it's not. 15 ducats. Motherfucker, you can kiss my ass. And that's totally fine. That's totally fine. That's perfectly acceptable. No, it isn't. 15 is not acceptable. What happened to 60? You rarely ever see shit that's 60. Yeah, no, that pisses me off to no end. Huh. Because then the runs, like, I'll do runs, and then I'll get shit that's worth, like, 15 or a fucking fauna. It's like, what? What the hell kind of... You know, and then I might get 45s. You know, and then, like, shit... Those 100s, those 100s are reserved for rare parts, the ones that are hard to get. Like, why couldn't everything be like 25, 50, 75, and 100s? Just flat. 
so commons are 25 like yeah like semi uncommon you know or uncommon is 50 you know like semi rare or whatever is 75 and rare is 100 simple as that you don't have any of this intermediate bullshit you know you don't have any of this middle ground shit to deal with it's it's just dumb it's just enforcing more grinding that nobody wants to do people ain't having it this skill this should not have been one of those where you're just basically sitting there and then you can just do this because that just encourages more bullshit lazy uh laziness from players this is all they're gonna fucking do and seriously like your whole thing about fucking with ember was partially because of that the other thing was because it got in the way of newer people on lower level planets trying to do fissures and all that yeah that's that's pretty damn stupid Yeah, this fuck that. I would have actually done something similar to what Wisp can do, except it's vertical, probably. You know, and it's just boom, like several columns, like three, one for each of the eyelons, and it would have been like a delta formation, a triangle. You know, so like one at the front and two behind him. Yeah, you know, hell, I'd even make that motherfucker spin if uh, if anything. But that's me. That's how I'd have done it. Tear people up. So, we got our Spectra. I didn't do anything with it. Let's bust it out. Let's take a look at it. And then absolute blackout. Yeah, no. I don't like uh, black uh, blackout like that. Uh, this, this gives it a matte kind of finish. This little faux gold. We could do some silver here. Or we could do gold with the mat instead. Or we could do silver because this is too this is too sharp. You now I prefer something a bit more tame. I don't know. It's basically another contrast. So then our beam is going to be, yeah, you know what, no, that's fine. And it's like, really? The spectra? Given what they did with beam weapons, I'm not surprised. And unfortunately, no, neither of these new weapons have any polarities in them. So you have to do something with them. But they do come with their own slot and their own potato, so you can do what you gotta do. Let's see, I can slap this in. That goes to that. And then... I don't even know. And since this is a beam weapon, they don't get the, uh, the, like, multi-shot stuff applied to it, uh, like your common things. So, like, this is how it is. But then you end up with uh, double beams instead. Allowing you to uh, get more DPS out of it, regardless. So, yeah. This is going to be mostly status. And then I'm probably going to slap in um, Prime Pistol Gambit. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, Prime Target Cracker as well. For, like, one build. Um, another one might actually just see me using, like, um, where the heck is it? Ruinous Extension. Yeah, if they had something that was similar to Combustion Beam, but for secondaries, I would use it. That would be pretty dope. Just slap that on and just start murdering. Murderizing you. 
this is slash and puncture for some reason this laser just had to be physical I mean then again it was one of the earlier ones so it makes sense that it's going to be a physical based one I mean hell for what it's worth you want to do slash let's put name on here <gasps> look at that Whoa. Yeah. so let's go ahead and swap things out all right so what we're going to do is redo the last mission I should be able to do just about everything without, uh, I mean, almost, uh, before this session is over. We still have about, what, another 18 minutes or so? Ain't this a bitch? No, just play the damn thing. I don't even worry about waiting on other people. Fuck it. I hate it when it does that, when it's when it starts to queue and then it quickly redirects and then you're just sitting there looking like an idiot then you might sit there for like another 10 15 minutes it's like uh what is it like lego batman yeah you're just sitting there looking and then nothing you want to give me the energy boost right out the gate but there's nobody here scan is up also this is an underhanded laser it's it's awkward and I was wondering about it when I looked at it I'm like wait is this an underhanded laser yeah I'm like dude the like other weapons are so much better looking like the uh wait a second did i go to the right i think i did go to the right that was that was dead end yeah like the um the synapse the amprex hell even the flux rifle looked better than this and then we got the galaxion uh, that's arguably the best looking laser yeah now i've played around with uh with at least one of the new guns. I've got all of them built now on PC. I just haven't put the time in. But the Fulman, the one that you get off the market, that's uh, the one that is uh, supposed to be a uh, Wisp signature weapon. Yeah, that one. That one has a kick ass. See, now after so many runs and all that practice, I can do this. I know where shit is. Uh, but yeah, the Fulman, uh, it's a lightning based gun. It's default is like a kind of cannon, like boom, kind of like a shotgun blast. Uh, it's a rifle though. Uh, but you know, it's got like a, uh, I wouldn't call it a suppressor. Um, but it's got like a, uh, but it's got a oh fuck I'm not a gun specialist but it's got like this this cone on it and that's what allows it to do like these big ass like essentially charge shots also it recharges its own ammo so yeah um, <clears throat> so I think it's like 10 ammo a shot so regen isn't that bad so you can throw down with uh, with that. Now, then you hit alt fire and you take the cone off of the uh, off of the muzzle of the gun. Well, hell, that's actually what it is. It's a fucking muzzle. Uh, so you take the muzzle off 
um, yeah, and, and the barrel is like unhindered now. So now it turns into a rapid fire uh, rifle. So yeah, you know, it's full auto. And yeah, and the thing is, uh, it's it's a pretty decent gun. I enjoy it. And it's gonna take some work. It's gonna take some modding. Oh hell! No, my luck will actually be in here. Uh, yeah, uh, the new secondary I've got, and it's interesting. I haven't done much with it. I could have just reeved right through that. I don't know why. I, because I don't use reeve, I still feel like it's a useless skill for him. Wukong, yeah, I can see it working for him, but for Revenant, not so much. Hell, if anything, this motherfucker should have been able to like portal dip, you know, like, like, uh, like he was a Mortal Kombat character or some shit. Like he could pull a Raiden and just here and then there. Like he could, or to be a little bit more. I mean, that's relevant, but I mean to be a little bit more, he could be like Reaper. Oh god damn it, I hit the wrong one. So then he can pick up you know, so he can then do what he does. I mean hell in essence he is like Reaper. Because that Reeve. Because Reeve is like his uh because uh, Reeve is like the uh the walk. But for those of you who don't play Overwatch, you probably still don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And that's fine, because I stopped playing it for a while. I need to get back to it, since I can also play it on PC now, and I don't have to worry about fucking PlayStation Plus and all that other extra shit. Yeah, I might not want to pick a fight with the motherfucker who can put you to sleep. Where's my kitty? There she is. Ah, dude, I would have loved the skin for the pets that would have been based on this. Would have been all wispy and shit like this. This would have been great. Like I said, I don't hate Revenant. I just wish that they'd done more with him. Because I'm the type of person who can play any Warframe. But I have my favorites. I like doing my CC stuff and honestly he's... He's kind of dull. Definitely playing fourteen. <sighs> well, on the plus side, I'm not trying to do an event and the damn night wave and trying to fucking farm for Barra. Oh god, that would be painful across the board. And this is why you do this stuff in advance. Instead of like yeah, if you have the time you can do that, but some of it is just not plausible. Not everybody just has just hours upon hours that they can just dedicate to games. Fortunately, kind of, kind of fortunately, I have no life, I have no job, so I can actually manage this. 
but at the same time I'm not making money off of it like I uh, like I could be this motherfucker knocked me off of the oh yes should have kept him alive so I keep I have my own shield motherfucker you belong to me now Come here, little shield dude. You belong to me now. See, stuff like this is kind of cool. So then you have like this little stone thing going on, and it's like, what? Yeah. You got like your little sentient bones and stuff as you're doing things. Oh, sorry, I pulled away from the microphone. Said these little sentient bone things as you're doing things. Yeah, I don't know. It's just stuff that you could do, you know. Reclaim. Oh, damn. He actually managed to score a hit. Yeah, look at that. He got himself killed. I do like that it does have this kind of plague aspect to it. So it's similar to Saren. So then they'll pass it on to nearby foes. And then, of course, if your thralls die... Then they leave this behind, this little tower that can burn down your enemies. And yes, it was the thing that I was talking to uh, Kite about when we were uh, discussing the uh, the art guns and stuff when they first came out. I was saying, well, there's a thing that they could do. Since art guns are treated as heavy weapons, they could easily just put this, uh, they could put the art gun charges on heavy units lo and behold with the uh, the jovian concord that's exactly what they did oh wait a second they're vulnerable to it oh that just trivialized this fight that was not what i was intending because you know like yeah that for me is a plus where I can like put my enemies to sleep for me this is just simple damage mitigation for me this is using length with trinity you know it's something that you just have to do you know it's basically second nature at that point eh, I have people like confused and kind of pissed about Hildren like why is she so bulky and shit but then like she's a shield based warframe you think it would be the other way around? We already have three full health based warframes. Hell, I was thinking, uh, wait, three. I meant two. Where the hell did I get three from? Nidus and Naros. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I was thinking that uh, when they were talking about uh, Harrow using shields that Harrow would be uh, the all shield based Warframe. I was wrong. They had a good idea with him. I still feel like they haven't quite done it. And yet I see a parallel in, uh, in Korra. Like they could actually work together given how she's got her living metal thing. He tends to use his chains Oh, hey. More Argon Crystals. Now, if I can get enough Hexen on and my Wisp pieces, in addition to finishing up our damn research, then yeah. Speaking of which, I need to check on that. Because I didn't start the research right away. I should have. I should know better. Nobody's playing, so anybody else going to contribute to the research? Because at first that was just me. I just jump in and just do it. So, uh, you know, we could have it as soon as possible. Uh, other people are like, oh, well, no. And then it's like, but now it's like, man, fuck that. Because, like, oh, well, yeah, you can want to, but that doesn't mean shit. Unless you're actually contributing to it. There's no point in even speaking up about it. If you're going to contribute to it, contribute to it. I'll give you, like, 
a day or two to do it. Otherwise, uh-uh. Okay, so I gotta hack another door. Uh, I gotta hack one more comp. I have one more. I gotta hack six more of those. That's not hard. <coughs> Just go do some shit with the corpus. I gotta unlock ten relics. See, I could have been doing relic missions instead. Uh, and then, of course, this. Yeah. <sighs> For some reason, Harrow feels really squishy. Yet he isn't. What do you mean he isn't? He isn't. Like. Okay. Let me take this off. So, at base, he has 150 armor. Then, I augment that 150 with the steel fiber. Give me 110% armor. With that 110% times that, uh, no. <coughs> times that 150, that's me 315. This is probably the wrong formula to use because I don't do percentages. I never did. I suck at percentages. I suck at fractions. You know, any of that I, I was never good at. So I'm sitting at 315. 315 is a solid amount of armor. It's not like uber tanking armor. No, that's your starting point if you wanted to be like that. Like say Valkyrie, Rhino, uh, Inaros. You know, yeah. But for him, this should be fairly solid. And yet I get fucking steamrolled. And it makes no damn sense to me. Yeah, I'm already kind of losing it. You know what? <coughs> Let's go tell us about Tor. Speaking of which, we have not had, uh, yeah, what? They did not, uh, yeah. We've got Warframes attached to almost every syndicate. Parent sequence. Nidus. Red Veil. Harrow. Nuloka. Titania. Cephalon Suda. Octavia. Steel Meridian? No one. Arbiters of Hexus? No one. We're still missing two Warframes. They've shown off a couple more of those. I don't know if Big Belly Guy is going to be one, is going to be one. I don't know if Running Man is going to be one. But I could see the two of them actually being here, especially since the one is kind of like the uh, the Kuva Guard. I could see that going to Steel Meridian. I could see Running Man going to Arbiter's Paxis, but not quite. I don't know. Like that motherfucker's like Kamen Rider XL. <laughs> like, dude. Yes. Okay. One more run. So, then we'll do that. And I need to open relics. I'm not really that concerned with doing all that. I mean, yeah, if I could find, like, if there was, like, a capture mission that was up for, like, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes. I just run that back to back. I do not feel like going endless. Yeah, I'm basically being lazy about this. I've been lazy about Nightwave from the beginning. Because, oh, you could do this and that. It's more about optimization. Because honestly, the whole lot of it ain't worth it. because then you're going out of your way to try and make this more intense and more of a challenge and all that and it's just no
Yeah, I'd be mad if Tarzan didn't unmute my mic. Yeah, I wish they did more stuff with the chains. That's one. His extraction. Okay, yeah, I should actually be drinking right now. Got a bottle of ice water over here. I'm pretty sure it's thawed out, but it should still be cold. when you're just running through instead of I don't mean stopping at every single room to get a look but you know yeah but when you're just running from one point to another yeah somebody tried to look dang I wanted a few things I got a call uh, a while ago asking uh, if uh, if I wanted them to pick up soup. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm okay. We have food here. It's not like I can't eat. Granted, I probably don't need anything with a lot of grease and stuff in it. Baby makes three. So now we just have to finish this mission, and that'll be it. Yeah, I know. As I have a regular stream schedule. Thing is, I also don't have that many people following me anyway, which would be a whole other ball game. If I had the same amount of followers on Twitch as I have subscribers on YouTube, that would make so much of a difference. But I realized where everything came from. And no, I've said it before, I say it again. I will not touch anything else DBZ after I do the Legacy of Goku trilogy. And that's going to be a live stream COCOM series. At least I'm thinking. I don't know. Like, the schedules are all fucked up, so it's hard to really say. But yeah, so that would be cool. Get to do that. Um, and then uh, after that, well, I don't know, but I'm not touching anything else DBZ related. Did I catch her in the air with that? I 
out of the way. Thank you. Damn, you can really hear the PlayStation whining right now. It's hard. I'm being overworked. Yeah, I'm actually wondering. Uh, on that note, I'm wondering what's up with uh, like the next console and then, like how is Warframe going to work there? Like, are we going to get to migrate over? So anybody with PS4 account can then migrate to uh, to like the next console, or do we? You know, uh, is there going to be like a a period where you can then like transfer your account to uh, to PC instead? I mean, just hell, if I can actually take the the details from this and put it on PC, I'm willing to throw away my old PC account for it because I'm far better off on this account than I am over there. Like I got more slides, I got every damn Warframe, close to every weapon, and almost all my stuff is fully formed and ready to go. Like, I am battle ready. I'm ready for war. Like, let's do this. <sighs> but if it is just more of a, okay, well then you can come on over to, uh, to PS5 or whatever the hell. Then, like, I guess, fine, I'll, I'll do it at some point. I'm not getting the console anytime soon. Well, it's not even out yet. I know it's not out yet. I'm still going to say, it's still going to be a minute. So another six, so one of these, another one of these. Because hell, this and this will be you know, the tier by itself. And then these two will be here, and then that'll be like 8k and so, like hell if I had actually done my dailies this wouldn't even be a thing so we're already two hours yeah <clears throat> and my stomach is starting to grow it's like nope it's time to eat like don't even I get it I get you so before the reset which I've immediately forgotten and I could have checked the thing on the thing but I didn't the reset is 25 hours so within 25 hours I should actually have all or most of that done because let's see what we have we got an exterminator on Jupiter could do that I prefer captures, but yeah, so I can do nine of these, knock that out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm heading towards uh, I'm heading to I'm heading to the ballast. I got too much air in my stomach. Uh, uh. So I'm heading towards the ballast. We're going to go ahead and do uh, these other bits. Um, yeah and then we'll do whatever. Yeah, if I had done the dailies, then that would have also helped. But, it's whatever. They probably still have it arranged in a way that you don't have to do every single thing in order to get to the, uh, the highest reward. Which is good. Because I also need to put in the time over on my PC account. And that's the other reason why I burnt out. Except for the fact that I didn't have much going on on the PS4 account. So I went and started over on PC because, well, Planes of Eidolon was coming out or it had come out. And I had built a brand new PC. I wanted to see just how well this thing was going to work because I had this kick ass uh, motherboard and, uh, and like, some awesome RAM and. Yeah, my, my graphics card was uh, was like top notch and shit. I mean, it wasn't like a super high end one that cost like quadruple di uh, digits, but 
um, still something worth my money. Although, for what it's worth, I feel like I did spend way more than I need to on my computer. So I figured, you know what, fuck it. I'll just go ahead and do that. And, yeah, that's probably going to come up. Well, then, if you were able to build your own computer and it's all, like, fancy and shit, then how come you couldn't get, like, another audio interface like you've been complaining about? Because that was... Think of it as a parting gift from my grandmother. That's how. So, figured, okay, well then, I'll invest in something that will make me more money. Besides, also, I just needed a new computer, but I didn't feel like wasting the money on... Like, I wanted to build my own computer for a long time. I'm pretty sure it's something that uh, me and my dad would have ended up doing uh, had he still been alive. So, yeah, that would have been a really cool idea. So, might as well go on ahead and do it since I have the, uh, the means to do it. And it did, and it's a beaut. I still haven't pushed it to its limit though. And I should. When are we going to fight this one? I have feeling this is more like phone lines and shit. I might be wrong. Alright, we do have fractures, so I could try and steal some of those and all. I don't know, we still need the lightning ephemera. So, whenever the hell we all get around to doing that. Yeah, none of it. Like, the, the traumas are like some of the easiest ones to get. I have to go find that cave in the north because I don't want to. Beauty, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm not doing it. No. There's no way you go up here. Getting a little inside tip here. Um, this is not what I need to be. Motherfucker. I'm not thinking straight. This is what happens when I don't eat. No, this is it. First it's a major pain in the ass, and then it becomes tedious. Funny how that works. That's classic senses. But I think the other reason why it stood out is because it was something that was new at the time and then you would get the syndicated episodes and, it, and thus that would be repeated and it would stick with you. 
as opposed to like the one-off status quo forgetful episodes that we have now like now that the census is a part of pop culture then they end up making their own uh, pop culture references and it's so easily integrated together because well that's just how it is and I think that's what kind of hurts it it's like the Simpsons was like I wouldn't call it counterculture I mean to a degree I mean if it was like you know if you were talking about say Leave it to Beaver or something like that so that like they're the exact opposite of that kind of that kind of family dynamic on TV. Yeah. And then, well, like I said, it became, you know, it became the norm. It became the thing. A lot of people say, oh, well, you know, it stopped being good a long time ago. Yeah, and in my opinion, it stopped even being, you know, it stopped being great, it started coming kind of in. And then it really took a dive because they had their best writers working on the movie. So, like, during that time, yeah, the scripts took a hit. Like, the show took a hit. And it became, like, subpar because of it. And it's not the show's fault. Saying they were over there trying to work on the movie. Damn it. And I mean, it was worth it. The movie itself was actually pretty decent. And dare I say it would have been a fitting finale. Now apparently the episode where like I don't remember who it was. It was one of like I think the writers and showrunners I think uh, admitted that the uh, the episode that took place in the future with Bart and Lisa and Maggie all full grown and they've got their own children that are around the same age as they were. Uh, you know, they're having trouble connecting with their kids and raising them. That was supposed to be the finale. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't because I didn't like that one. Call me whatever about it, you know, call me cynical or whatever. But that's how I feel. I just didn't like that episode. It didn't feel like a proper finale. I don't know what the fuck about. I know I'm going to caves, I just don't know which caves. Let's see. Now, if you were talking about just the base speed in and of itself, hell, you could turn all the arc waves up to this speed. And then, of course, slap on the, uh, the boost mod, which is why we got in this one. You know, and that would make things so much better. You decided to put weight on, you know, because of how they work. So it's healing systems in the Amesha. There's the uh, the thermonuclear warhead in the uh, in the elytron, you know, yeah. So stuff like that. That's why they weigh so much and why they don't move as fast. That's the main reason why people don't use them. Also because this, like, look how much I can travel, and that's with a maxed out one with max range, like, yeah. Like that's blink level three with a maxed out range mod.
You know, just kind of coast it. Oh wait, no, I got MRS damage. Nice. Nice, no, no, no. Barbecue smoke. Someone just trying to grill. Alright, Jim Team. Alright. Shouldn't you forgive me that when you uh, when you play? Shouldn't be. Yeah, but most of us don't really celebrate. Now, with the setting like this, you'd expect there to be like a boss or something. There isn't. It's a shame. This is real stuff. I also appreciate that they create widgets so that then you can reach this stuff further away. Thank you. If only they made love on K prize less pain in the butt. Fist. Okay, so then just give them like four more with you or something. Now it's way easier than it was the very first time we did some shit like this. I can't help but feel like even they know that we're focused. No, you gotta draw. You gotta like trace this outline and pray that you get it perfect. Or as close to perfect. And hope that you get uh you know, and then you might actually get the thing that you're trying to do. I'm like, why couldn't it just be like a meter and you have to like stop it? I didn't say it, but that's exactly what it came down to when it did it. And it freaking worked. Which usually I'm talking about this stuff uh, in like party chat. And then they end up doing it. It's like uh, I was talking about the Earth based boyfriend. <coughs> Since we had Hydroid who was water, Ember who was fire, Zephyr who is essentially a wind based boyfriend. And lo and behold, they gave us Atlas. He's joking like. It's fine all your conversations too. I'm like, probably this explains too much. But some of this is also just sense. But I don't know, hey, it might be my it might be the thing I was talking about earlier about me being able to like sync with wavelengths. So I'm able to get an idea of the same stuff that they're trying to do. That was quite green. Oh, now we get the infinity. Okay, where is the infinity? Okay, so that's all just there. Huh? Let's 
I do this one? There's actually another one that's closer to the space board. Nobody should be able to cover that much distance in that short time. I'm like, Scott, really? That's a simple solution. Seriously, just turn up the speed on the other on the other arc lanes. That's the main reason why people are using those ones. Because they can cover more distance than they can in the other. Like, even with the mod on, even with the Hyperion thrusters maxed out, we still can't go that fast. That's it. It's not like we hate the other arc waves. Every arc wave has its purpose. Like, why would you use the, uh, why would you use some of the other, that's the thing, my buddy loves the Elytra. He will use it. He has used it for like Plague Star and other things while we were out and about. The Amesha is my go-to. And I busted that sucker out for a few of these. It's like we were doing like the, uh, the excavation phase on the bounty. And I think I even, yeah, I even used it uh, at one point during the, uh, the Thermia Fractures uh, first time around. And it worked. It kind of worked. It was somewhat effective. I mean, had to put the bubble down or two and like position yourself so you couldn't so you wouldn't be vulnerable to getting killed but it worked. So that bought you a little bit of time to protect yourself. That's cool. I would like more stuff like that. You know, if you're going to be able to use the arc wing out there, you should be able to use the arc wing out there. It shouldn't be so flimsy that it only takes a couple hits and then boom, you're back down on the ground. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants to do that. That's not fun, that's detrimental. It discourages you to keep using the arc wing. Especially back when you, uh, you didn't have the infant uses, when you had to craft your charges. Man, you, that is, you know, all the extra fishing and all that, but no, no, I was trying to do all of that. I was just going to... Ah, this is going to make it more tedious and frustrating. Because that's what happened. Like, people got burnt out on uh, on the planes because they realized it was just nothing but more grinding. So they didn't want to do it. But then there were other things that were locked behind the grind. So they went on and did it because, well, I got it now. I already have the middle fragment. I think I've got all of them now. See, now I'm already tired of Warframe. Especially since, you know, I, well, I don't know, I bought a new game, even though it's not really new. The new expansion, yeah, that's new, but for the most part, the game itself is. Shit, it gives me something else to do. 
it also has its own grind, but damn, it at least feels fresh compared to playing this. So, well, it, because it's free shit, it's just why. Like, nobody's gonna pass up free stuff. Because even they realize, oh, wait, well, there's. Like, we took Nitane off of alerts, the hard thing alerts, and the amount that. Uh, and then, well, the amount that you get is one. Uh, if we actually decide to try and get it through, uh, through the sabotage missions, which is, you know, it's in a cash, there you go. So it goes for bullet dance. It's like, well, crap, now you have to figure that out. And anybody trying to do that, nobody wants to do that. It's stupid. So they were like, okay, well we have to come up with something for in between. And they did. So this is a sneak peek at the things that we're about to have. Uh, with the uh, with the next story. Right, I forgot. Harrow had Okay, so they basically pulled the fucking trinity with Harrow. Forgot, yeah, he has no offensive skills. See, I would have done like this life leeching kind of chain. So he does another way of binding a target and then he siphons life off of it. Oh, or maybe he could do like Korra and he can whip them with the damn chain. But no, of course not. No shit makes sense. See, if it does make sense, it's not going to be used. Instead, he's just pure support. No, so then you can use your gun. That's it. Yeah. So this, boom, gives my shield back. This, boom, sacrifice my shields in order to now give health back to my teammates. Only if I get killed. This, boom, now I can drain my energy in order to then give energy back to my team. Only if I get the kill. Fourth ability, this, boom. He gained temporary invulnerability while also building up a percentage for crit damage. Well, crit chance. Now, this can be used by everybody, but in order to really get the most out of it, I have to be the one to take the damage. Yeah. So... He's more a team Warframe than he really has any right to be, in my opinion. I really like this Warframe, I just hate what's going on. Because Warframe is a co-op looter shooter, but at the same time, the way the game is done, the way people play it, is not that way. It's not like it's counter to that. The way people play this game they are basically competing with each other in those missions. Under very very special circumstances are you really actually working together in order to make that happen. You know say you're playing with friends or whatever and you coordinate and that's how you come up with this kind of setup. Because that's how I would do it. So then, oh, okay, so now we got like Nova, Saren, and maybe a Trinity or something like that. Alright, let's see how we do it. Let's, let's see if we can do it. So, uh, like we got the Nyx, we got a Rhino, and we got a Chroma, or something like, I don't know, something like that as we start trying to flex and figure out how we're, how we're doing. And I mean like in both uh, terms, uh, but in both means of the term. 
like this and uh, flexing on them as well as flex play. I, like I said, I can play pretty much every damn Warframe with DV. It's just a matter of getting to It's just a matter of having a teammate who plays something that will complement what you've got. And thus you can make the most out of your setup. So you can do what you got to do. Otherwise, it's just everybody's on a DPS class and they're just tearing through shit. Speaking of which, that's not how Warframe is. Like, we don't have clear defined roles like tank and support damage done like yeah. the, the, the warframes do fit into those categories yes but is this a bubble is it right here it's right here can't see because it's too much damn blue the art direction beautiful god you can't see shit Things that have, like lights and shit like all up on it. Oh fuck that up. Okay, so that's a deception. So it must be up top. I don't like that. The stuff ends up on the other side, or if it's on another level, you can't see where it's at, and you have to just figure it out. It sounds like, oh, uh, all I'm doing is complaining about the game. As if I hate it. No. Complaints aren't just limited towards hating something. No, you can still love something. You can still be a fan of something. You can still have a complaint. You can still have a valid complaint. See, that's the fucking problem with fandom. People think that, oh, well, you know, if you're complaining, then that means that you don't like the thing at all. Therefore, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be watching that thing. You shouldn't be playing it or, or, or reading or whatever. Like, you shouldn't be enjoying it at all then if you get no enjoyment from it. That's not why we do that. Some people might. Bitch, just a bitch. But other people actually have valid reasons for why they're doing it. Because they might have actually liked the way that something was going, or they might have liked that a character had this thing going for them. As opposed to, oh, well now they just made this change for no reason to this character, and now that con that contradicts their, their motivations for why they're doing whatever. Or this goes against uh, the established rules of the show or something and it's just and it's frustrating so people don't want to see that get like thrown out the window just for something else so you know other people are like well if you don't like it then don't watch it and well yeah you can try not to watch but then when all you get is nothing but promos for this shit it's like well 
shit, I still feel like my complaints are fucking valid. Despite fanboys and fangirls trying to jump down your throat about it. Because you had, uh, you dared to criticize their beloved this, that, and the other. Yeah, those are the one, uh, those are the main fans that people hate and can't stand. Even the ones in fandom. Like shit, I stopped watching Supernatural a long fucking time ago. Yet I still have my complaints about it. And my friends who still watch the show say, "Well, no, it's it's gotten better." Like, like, yeah, no. I got to my point of, I got to my, my limit on that, like, oh, I'm going to keep watching, it'll get better, it'll get better, I'm hoping it'll get better, it got worse, it got consistently worse, and I couldn't stand it anymore because it became very apparent that the show was going to continue to run in the same damn circles that it did, and it did. And then, yep, they end up doing the same thing that they normally do. They killed off an established character or a recurring character because why not? Let's go on ahead and do it. Let's kill him. Like, when they first brought on Felicia Day, I was like, okay, yeah, she's dead. She's going to fucking die at some point. And I was right. Alright, so. Huh, I have to almost wait. Three hours. Uh, but yeah, by the time that happened and Charlie was killed off, I had stopped watching. Because I got tired of the same shit with Sam and Dean. Constantly at each other's throat. Constantly talking about, oh, right, well. Yeah, but you shouldn't have lied to me. You shouldn't have kept secrets and this and that. And then they were talking about, okay, no more secrets. Only to then immediately start harboring secrets and then going right back at each other's fucking throat. But no. No, 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 no. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Especially since you motherfuckers keep integrating Crowley in this shit. Don't have some sort of fucking friendly rivalry. But no, there's no friendly rivalry. This motherfucker made your lives hell. It's like them keeping Castiel, even though he had no other point. Like, even after they did his art, you know, and then there was a whole Angel Civil War, and then he went and did what he did there, and it's like, well, then he shouldn't show up anymore. But now, here they go. Gotta, gotta continue to spit in faces. I bring Lucifer back into the, in the thing. So it's like, why? No, I haven't exactly kept up anymore, but, like, dude, like, I, I know for a fact that I would have stopped watching it after, what was it, the season 10 finale when they brought my mom back? I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, no. Nope, now you fucked it all up. The very reason why they became hunters in the first place is now alive. And, and walking around and still functioning like she was before. Yeah, no, it, I'm, I'm done. Like, at that point, I stopped even trying to keep up with the show. The podcast I was watching that would recap all this stuff gave up on the show after that. Yeah, uh, I, I was done. So, yeah. I mean, hell, that was like with Arrow. I stopped midway through season two. Once they gave me the actual reason why, uh, why Slade was doing what he was doing, I was, I was like, fuck that. I don't give a shit if that was a great finale. Like, no. But like, here we go with the standard CW bullshit again. Fuck this. I'm done. No matter if I'm the target audience or not. Like, you can still enjoy a show if it's written well. If it's got a compelling dynamic, you can still enjoy it. Nope. I do stupid shit. Because that's what we do. Three hours, two forty six. Well, we'll 
something. I wish I had actually gotten my full endurance run, but yeah, we'll do that maybe tomorrow or something. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you next time we stream. Y'all have a good one.